Easy come, easy go. As with men, it is with money. I'm Amy Holmes bringing you some hard-bitten truths on today's hot list at TheBlaze.com. This week, a lucky ticket holder in Milpitas, California won a staggering $425 million playing Powerball. But all is not champagne wishes and caviar dreams. Turns out losing a fortune is even easier than winning it. This week, it was reported that Mel Gibson's baby mama filed for bankruptcy after earning a $750,000 settlement from the volcanic superstar. But that's just chump change compared to what other winds of fortune have been blown. New Jersey lucky lady Evelyn Adams won the lottery twice, $5.4 million. But after a spin through Atlantic City, Evelyn wound up in a trailer, telling the press, quote, winning the lottery isn't always what it used to be. Lara and Roger Griffith struck Pater when they won $2.76 million playing the lottery. They bought a million dollar love nest, a Porsche, and after 14 years of marriage, they won the divorce lottery over allegations of infidelity. Apparently getting rich can change the terms of getting hitched. But let's look at some really big paydays. Back in 1993, Janet Lee won 18 million smackers. But four years of gambling, community investments, and treating her winnings like monopoly money led Janet to file for bankruptcy. But what's $18 million compared to 315? Ask Powerball winner Jack Whitaker. He landed the big kahuna Christmas Day of 2002, but booze, strippers, fancy cars, and a freewheeling daughter who turned to substance abuse ruined his fairy tale fortune. Now look, I'll be honest, I believe in my heart that if I ever won the lottery, I would be responsible, philanthropic, have only three modest houses and one full-time chef and probably a driver, but I wouldn't end up like a washed up former rap star obsessing over my lost fame and fortune. I'd be a model of respecting great fortune, tending to it like a green eyeshade accountant. But then again, I don't buy lottery tickets. I know myself. I'd go broke in three days. I'm not a millionaire reporting to you from the Blaze Newsroom in New York City.